All right, so welcome to uh, how to set up the HUD in the PS4 uh, Final Fantasy XIV. So if you're like me, the HUD wasn't necessarily user-friendly when you started uh, Final Fantasy XIV, especially if you're new to MMOs. Uh, it, super complicated, super useful once you figure out how to use it, but how in the world do you figure out how to use it? Well, I spent a couple of hours kind of figuring things out and kind of developed my own system that I feel like works very, very well. So, uh, as you're looking here, you can see um, my chat log at the bottom left is a little larger. Uh, I've shrunk my crossbar. Um, I'll show you how to take off the easy help. I, I switched classes to an astrologian and had to put those back on, but I'll show you how to take those off. Uh, I shrunk a lot of things. I added another hot bar down at the bottom right that's horizontal. Um, shrunk, reorganized, did a bunch of things. So, let's begin. First things first, your chat box. You can move it around, you can do a lot of things, but the first thing that you should do and want to do is resize it. Now, it's a pain in the butt, but on the PS4 the way to do this is you use your touchpad, like a mouse, and you're gonna you're gonna double tap somewhat fast and it's super sensitive and when you double tap it you're sh you should end up with this little symbol let me see there and once you get it you'll be able to resize it and again super pain in the butt anyway as I try to get that let's continue on with life now what you're going to do is, if you use the options button, you can go over here to the system. And we're going to go into two areas. We're going to go to the HUD layout. Uh, we'll look at the system configuration a little bit. And we're also going to go to character configuration. So, in character configuration, uh, what you're really going to be using here in this setting, at least for this tutorial, is the hotbar settings. Now, in here you're going to see uh, the horizontal, the vertical, um, and the cross hotbar. And the cross hotbar is PS4, um, not usable on the PC. But the biggest thing, the biggest benefit um, in the cross hotbar is this section right here where it's expanded hold control. So as you start to level up your characters, uh, you start, you're going to start to get a ton of abilities, especially if you start to use cross class. And switching using R1 can just get super tedious. Now, if you set this up, you can actually enable it to where when you hit L2 or R2, and then you hit the other one in conjunction with it, you switch to half of your hotbar you decided. So as you can see, I have set 2, and I have set 1. And if I hold R2 and then L2, I hit a certain side of my set 2. And if I do the opposite, I hit the other side of it. So what this allows is in battle, running around, whatever you choose to do, uh, you can have quick access without having to tediously switch between the R1. I can't tell you how many times uh, going through this that has messed me up in trials, dungeons, you name it. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. Experiment with it. Figure it out. Uh, whatever works best for you. Um, other things that you'd want to probably look at is your uh, just your targeting. Um, when you're looking at enemies, when you're moving around the map, what do you want to see? Uh, do you want to automatically lock on? Really take a, a moment and take 30 minutes on the next time you play the game and see which one of these you want to see. Um, things you you need, things you don't need. Um, now the UI settings also has a HUD area over here. And again, this is for when you have experience, when you have things flying around. I personally don't mind all of that. Um, however, there are things like I'm a healer, so the enmity list is absolutely pointless for me. Because uh, I should never have aggro. Um, so you can unclick, click that. Um, all of these display things, I'll actually show you in a different area to turn those on and off and toggle them. 
Display names. I highly recommend you changing this, especially if you have a clan or you play with friends. That light blue color, super easy to lose and just really unfortunate. If you click on your own, the companions, the pets, you can actually change the color of your name, the highlighted color, as well as your friends and everybody like that. You can do the same thing for Alliance members, uh, other NPCs. You can essentially customize every single way you see any kind of character or enemy in this game. Um, they have options where they only show up during certain ways. Um, the big one that I use is colors. I don't particularly care too much about the other settings. Um, again, personal, personal reference. Now, the horizontal hotbar. I have a keyboard that I use, but I also have this set up um, with this hotbar down there that I can just use my virtual mouse and go click. I did this because there were so many little options, so many things in the main menu that I pulled up a lot that I got tired of trying to figure it out. One of those is the timers. I didn't even know that I could find these five bits of info in the timers catalog. So. The way you set this all up, and I guess we'll go to the HUD layout now, is you see this very complicated, very screwy grid of just white lines with little names on it. Well, in here, you are going to see a list of things that you can move around, change the size, and everything like that. And the hot bars are located in here. And most of them are located, as you can see in this middle section, Hotbar 2, 3, 4, right behind the HUD layout uh, dialog box right here. And you can move them. You can actually take whatever hotbar it is, as you can see in the bottom right, I can move this anywhere I want for me to visualize. And you can do this with all aspects. Now, I wanted it uh, out of the way, so I kind of moved it here at the bottom. And if you're OCD, you can hold R1 and it'll snap to a grid. But I'm not too OCD. Um, anyway, uh, I moved it there. Now you can resize everything as well using the R3 click. Um, now when you're doing this, go ahead and just search through the things you want. But again, for this purpose right now, we are talking about the, the hot bar. Now, in your settings, I have it displayed, so it's showing up right now. And I have arranged it to go in that bottom right hand corner. In order to put things on that hotbar, because you're not using a mouse, you're not using a keyboard to set this all up. Go to your actions, use your virtual mouse and hover over something, tap it, and then now you can drag it. And you can drop it onto this. And you can choose anything you want. You can do spells, you can do general actions, you can do traits, you know, not traits, but uh, job classes, PvP, companions, main companions, everything goes and if you're using a keyboard you can map these to be any keys I have these all in the number pad or you can click on them just using your virtual mouse and it's faster for some people depending on your preference to so just go ahead and do that now between the hot bars now everything else is personal preference I shrunk and rearranged things I kinda like the inventory thing because I've lost many items because I do a lot of collecting gathering all that fun jazz and I also like to see my money because I do a lot of marketplace. I like to sell things and I like to know how much money I have so I know what I can and can't buy to sell or when to farm. Uh, however, I like to shrink it. I like to make things my own. I don't like being forced to go with the flow. And you can scroll down to all of these. Like the limit gauge. I had moved and I shrunk. Uh, all these things, experiment, figure it out. You don't have to be stuck playing the way that's default. Um, my gameplay considerably changed for the better when I took the time to sit here and navigate the menus and struggle through it. But it's worth it. So uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and comment. Um, I can always go into more depth, less depth. I can chat, take on anything if you uh, want to see any tutorials on certain aspects of the game. And, yeah, keep going out there. Keep killing monsters since the 1980s. That's how we do it.
talk to you guys later.